Hello, hello, it's Monday night. So here I am, <laughs> live video um, here in Stampin' Shenanigans. Uh, and it has been a Monday. Wow, that is for sure. I don't know about you, um, but if it has, let's hear about your Monday. Okay, I'm getting my other view ready so that I can see what's happening here and uh, and any potential questions that you might have. Okay, so um, hello. I uh, Yeah, like I said, it's been a Monday. And today, if you watched last week, you saw I came on <laughs> a slide video with a post-it note and a list of things that I was going to accomplish. And I tried to do that for this week too, because once again, I didn't create the card beforehand. It's like part don't have time to, well, don't make time to create the card and part want to challenge myself to see if I can create something cool on the fly. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing tonight. Okay. So what, what was I saying? I don't know. You know what? Live video. It's like always a mystery. I'm going to turn this around and put it into my tripod so that we can get started. But I'd love to hear about your Monday, how it was, um, what you're doing now. Are you sitting home putting your feet up? I hope so. Hope you're getting to do that. I'm going to be doing that in a minute. I actually already did have my feet up because Chris made me dinner and it was delicious and he's watching Monday Night Football and I'm in here now making cards, so does it get any better? We're both in our total happy place. Okay, so Modern Garden. This is a new stamp set. This stamp set went live in the mini catalog like a week, not quite a week ago. Here's my first time opening it. I'm so excited, but I did want to say one thing. Like, For those of you that own photopolymer stamps, here's my recommendation just take these off and put them right over here and get rid of this piece. And maybe this is what people are doing, but I have asked a few of my friends at Stamp and they leave them on this sheet. I don't understand. I feel like it couldn't be easier now. You just take off your stamps and you stick them down over here and then it's amazing. Okay, I'm looking at these greetings now because I plan to use a different stamp set to go with what I'm doing. Enjoy your special day. It's your birthday. I could maybe do it's your birthday. I I re realized I'm super low on birthday cards, and that makes me, um, let's see, maybe I'll do enjoy your special day. So I'll leave that one out. Look at that. I mean, and how beautiful is a brand new stamp set that has been completely untouched. Anyway, I don't know. I wasn't going to do all of these, but I will, let's see. I'll do a couple more of them. This stamp set coordinates with a punch and I'm not going to use the punch tonight, but I am going to use the stamp set. So I probably want to use that one. Probably want to use this one. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll use this one instead. Like I said, I haven't made this card. It's just in my head. So I hope that I can make something that is interesting to all of you. That's five. I don't think I need that many. Are there leaves in this thing? Where are the leaves? I guess, is it just that? That's not enough. I need more leaves than that. Oh, that's the center of the flower. I need that for sure. So let's get that. And I guess, are these? Oh, that's also another center. Let's take another little center. Woo, this is fun. There's lots of these. What is, I guess that's a leaf. We'll have those be leaves. I don't know. And these right here, but I don't know if I want them attached. Okay, well, anyway. Did I mention this is an experiment? So here we go. I've got my basic white note card. I'm only committing to a note card because sometimes if I have an idea and I don't know how it's going to work, I'll just do a note card because if you do like a full card, it could... Um, become more than you bargained for and harder to do. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do here is I've already cut out some dies, and these are the, I forgot to look at the name of these, So Much Love dies, I think. That's what these are called, the So Much Love dies. And I am cut them out already with masking paper. So I am going to stick it down to this. 
So, ooh, are you, maybe you see where I'm going already. Masking paper. How exciting. So, yes, I'm going to mask off some of this, but always with this masking paper, I put it down to my clothes. And it's even better if you can put it down to, like, a sweater because the sweaters are really, you know. Like, I just find them, this masking paper is so sticky, it's a little bit hard to pull off of the cardstock once like now if I push down on it yeah it makes it a little bit of a challenge but anyway I'm up for the challenge it's going to be okay so there's that masking paper and now I'm going to put these right down in it so in these dies you get a for you like this and then you get a bigger for you I cut out both of them both of those out of the masking paper huh I really could have just done the main one I guess no that would yeah that's maybe what I should have done but I also uh, <laughs> I'd never used them before. So I also was kind of interested in the idea of a little bit of shading of these. Okay, now I've got the U. I'm putting it down on my skirt. Let's set it in here. And that is a little bit of a problem where it, um, where it's like got that hole right there. I don't know where the hole in the Y went. Disappeared somewhere. It's probably maybe down on my Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. I'll pull out a little piece of post-it note and cover that up. And then, over here, I'm going to do the same thing with the four. Now, you might not be surprised to know that I've also... Oh, I just tore that in half. Darn it. I've also cut out the more detailed for you out of black. So th that's what I did beforehand. I got into my room tonight about 7.45, so I had 15 minutes to get ready for this. So here we go. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm getting a post-it note. I'm cutting off a little piece to go right over this. And that should work. That should be just fine. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to stamp around this. I'm sure you're recognizing that that's what I'm going to do. And I've got these stamps to do it with. So here's my color scheme. I stuck with the color scheme that is the modern garden color scheme. Ooh, my camera's kind of going back and forth trying to adjust. But here you can see Calypso Cor Coral, Poppy Parade, Petal Pink will be, I imagine those as the flowers, and maybe some wild wheat flowers too. And then garden green for the leaves. Should we see how that looks? I think with the poppy, I think we should start with the most intense color first. And I also don't think that we should use the biggest flower for the brightest color. Because that could be a lot. So how about these cute little ones? We'll do poppy parade. But having said that, if I'm going to do those little ones, Poppy Parade, I think first we should do Calypso Coral. And I'll do these right here. All right. We'll see how this looks. Let's see. What size is the note card? Leslie Claire says it is regular note card. Uh, mm, three and a half by five. So you can cut down a piece of cardstock if you want. Or you can... Okay, there we go. First touch. Or you can buy the note cards and envelopes as they come um, in a pack of 20. I think it's a pretty darn good value. Woo, that's intense, huh? I think I just barely re-inked my Calypso Coral. So this time, well, I, gotta, I didn't get it good that time. This time I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to come over here and do one more of these. And I think that's it for this huge... I don't know, this kind of looks like a poinsettia flower, but... It's probably intended that way, right? I don't know. Okay, then I'm putting that aside. I feel like maybe we need to put some of the wild weed in there first before I do the poppy parade. Okay, whoops. Gosh, a lot going on up here already. Let's set that over here. Wild weed is next. With this really, I love this flower. It's like see how that looks. Ooh, that looks really dark too. I wonder how that's going to look stamped off. Maybe stamp off that one also because this is a pretty new ink pad so it hasn't been used a ton. So let's do this up here in this corner. 
Yeah, that looks kind of green, actually. I guess wild wheat is green, but I don't know. Part of me is like, uh, wants it to be yellow. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I guess sometimes it looks yellow. That's the thing. Sometimes it looks yellow. Sometimes it looks green. I guess depending on what it's up against. And this makes sense because red and green are complementary colors. So they're across from each other on the color wheel, which means if they're both on a thing like this, they might have a tendency to bring out the opposites. No idea if that just made sense. But anyway, moving on. Now let's do this one right here. Petal pink. No, oh, actually I like this one better. Let's do that one. And that will make for a really nice center to go on that one. Okay, so now I need to start overlapping these. There needs to be a lot of overlapping so that we're creating a solid edge around the for you. Does that make sense? So we want like, we want to be able to tell that it says for you. Okay, that's looking good. Let's see. Uh, okay. Betty, you like how I roll? 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Risky move, I know. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Okay, maybe... I don't know. Yeah, I guess that one here. And then I feel like we... Oh, we haven't done Poppy Parade. But I feel like we still need one other color or one other something. Maybe just another Calypso Coral in there. That is stamped off Calypso Coral. Over here. Maybe these flowers can overlap some. Okay, and then finish off the wild wheat. To fill in that space. Okay, I think we're pretty solid around the for you, except for up there. Okay, so let's get the poppy parade in. I think we can add that now to fill in all the spaces. Yeah, that didn't transfer too well, but it's all right. Let's see. Do this one around that way. It's kind of hard because where the masking paper is, it does have a little bit of a bump, so got to kind of watch that. Oops. Okay, I got some ink smeared down here, so I guess that lets me know where else I'm going to be putting a flower. And we, I could just continue on and fill the whole thing up. Oops. Oh, great. Look what I just did. Now I got Poppy Parade on my petal pink ink pad. But you know what? I know kind of a secret of how to get the ink off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rub it. <laughs> and it's fine. Okay. Oh, you couldn't even see that. So there you go. You can see a little bit of Poppy Parade now on that ink pad. It's fine. Okay, Poppy Parade. Let's see. Where else can we put one of these? It's looking kind of good. I think maybe we could stop here. I don't know. Just do a little one, another one kind of like right there. Because so I think I actually might have re-inked these in Calypso Coral. So interesting, interesting effort there, Shannon. Okay, so now we've got to do some centers of the flowers. And so I need to, oh, I don't know. My chamois disappeared. That's bad. My nephews were here yesterday stamping. So things are definitely awry in the stamp room. Okay, center of the flower. I'm going to do this one. Maybe I'll just do, let's see, probably just do black for most of them. Let's see how that looks. Start off with that. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. So maybe I'll just do a couple black ones. And then I'm going to get this one over here and do... Maybe some stamped off Calypso ones. This is a pretty fun step, fun stamp set to stamp with, if I do say so myself. Um, still no idea how this card is going to turn out, but we shall see, right? Okay, now I'm going to do Wild Wheat. Just go full strength here. That looks kind of weird, but that's okay. I kind of like it at the same time. Now maybe a Wild Wheat... Um, we'll do this one here. Yeah, it's definitely a one of a kind card. Okay, I need that one small. Where's that itty bitty little circle now? Let's get that one and we'll do some more centers with this one so that it's even smaller. 
Okay. I'll do these black. So maybe like that in the center of that. That looks really weird. Okay, I won't do that again. Hmm. Maybe maybe a few of them. To make it more like a, I don't know. Yeah, it looks a little more whimsical. Okay. We've got two more centers. And maybe I'll do some more with the speckledy one. And do, let's see. I think I'll do Poppy Parade again on this one. And maybe, I don't know, Wild Weed on the other one. Actually, the black is looking really imbalanced, so maybe I'll do black. There's too much black up top. Okay, I think we're finished. <laughs> Are you still with me? Or are you like, this card is crazy. I'm out. Oh, we're not finished because I haven't put any leaves on. So let's do some leaves. Let's see. What do we want for the leaves? We've got that one, which I don't know. I guess it can go on some of them. But where was that little teeny leaf? It flew somewhere. Oh, no. I hope I didn't lose it. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's see. We can use that one. And just get a little bit of garden green in here to kind of brighten things up a little bit. Not really sure where to put it. Just add a few little leaves here and there. Okay, I'm liking this stamp. It's pretty easy to use. Okay, you tell me, have you ever How often are you happy with the first card you make, or does it take a couple of rounds? Like for me, it usually takes some adjusting for me to really love it. But sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I just throw it together, and I'm like, yeah, that looks awesome for the amount of time I spent, you know? So I would really like to get better at being great at the stamp the first time around. Okay, so now I'm going to take this layer off out here, the furthest out layer, and this is the part where I really need to make sure... My hands are clean, so I guess I have to lick them because no chamois so that I don't get any color on this layer. And I want to get this outside layer, but not the other layer yet. because I have one more idea I might want to try. I'm reevaluating as we go. Okay, this is peeling off really well. I'm happy about that. Um... So you can see the for you coming into view, or the outside outline, I guess. Okay, interesting, right? So what I was thinking next was to do some blending of that and just blend in like, I don't know, wild weed or petal pink. Um, I gotta put that back down over that little spot. And then we'll take off the middle piece and that will be white. So we'll have petal pink, white, and then the words inside. All right, should we go for it? Where's my blending brush? Do you think I'm nuts yet? Usually Sally usually takes a couple of tries. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, Emma loves that color combo. You do? Oh, I'm so happy. If Emma likes it, I, ooh. I know it's good. She has really good taste. Okay, here we go. Petal pink. And this is such a light color, so hopefully what I'm hoping is that I won't get too much on the flowers out there. That it'll just be kind of like filling in the white a little bit. We'll see if I can accomplish that. Yeah, it's pretty light. Not, like nothing is transferring yet. I'm going to have to push a little bit harder. So that should be good. And I can see it's transferring now, but you almost can't see it, which is great because I don't want it to go onto the flowers, but I do want it to go onto the white area. And I'm getting excited about this. This is a really fussy card for just a note card. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good. I don't know if you are even able to see that. Yeah, it looks like I'm looking at the screen now to double check. And you, I think you can see that it's not white anymore. 
you can compare it to the edge. I've got these lights, but they're not maybe as bright as they should be. I'll try to get that in here. There we go. Okay. So I think we're pretty good on that. All right, let's peel that off and see how it looks. Moment of truth, my friends. Let's see. Ooh, that one's tearing a little bit, so I gotta start from a different spot. That's the one drawback of this masking paper. It is, I love this stuff that you can die cut it, you can do so much with it. Okay. Now come from the other direction, take off the U. Yes. Okay, that looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Now this die is really awesome because I could have cut um, like, you know, there's three different layers, three different versions of it. Um, and I actually could just do a, no, I don't think that would work. Never mind. Okay. So here's my little dainty black for you that I've cut out. Ooh, that's going to look cool. And then I've got to punch out that tiny little piece right there. I was thinking I should have done five of these and layered them up so they're sticking up a little bit, but I didn't think ahead on that. So let's see, where's my little glue? Let's just stick that on down. And then I did cut out a couple other flowers, just, you know, thinking maybe these will work. So I'll layer those on. We can have it a, um, you guys can give me an opinion on what you think about those. Okay, that's pretty good there. Okay, I like it, and the amount of glue I used is pretty good. Not a lot of over overage. I need tweezers. Where are my tweezers? I have those somewhere. That would be come really in handy right now. Okay, lay that down. Okay, that looks perfect. <sighs> All right, here are the other little pieces that I cut out. So I did a couple of flowers in Calypso Coral, and I did a couple of black leaves. So I could put those out. Um, I also need to do one more thing, which is Take a little piece of white, there's a white scrap that I have, and stamp the greeting to go along with it. This is where the, what was that, the enjoy your special day comes into play. And I don't know, I think I'll just, maybe I'll do Poppy Parade with that, although that's going to be, I don't know, I'll just do black. That Poppy Parade can be kind of messy on the white sometimes. Okay, enjoy your special day. That's a beautiful um, stamp because you can see the special day is a pretty font. I love that. Just cut that off like so. Just cut it along here freehand. That's kind of extreme. I don't think I need it to be that pointy. We'll fix that. Okay, there we go, and go right there. I feel like it needs to be cut a little bit more though. This is where a paper trimmer really comes in handy. Okay, let's do a couple of mini dimensionals down here. And then I've got some, I think this could go up here too, for you, enjoy your special day. I like it down here better. But what am I covering up? All of these beautiful flowers. Maybe I'll put it up here. <laughs> okay, that looks nice. And now there's a heart. That would definitely be good. Come on. Okay, so a little heart maybe. And then one other thing I was thinking. Where's that big circle again? 
There it is. Let's do... Is that one good? I like this bigger one. A big bold center on that flower. And then I got a couple of Stampin' Blends. So this is Poppy Parade, and I'm just going to try to color these... I don't have this stamp set. There is a stamp set that goes with this, and it would be perfect, but I have the dies, not the stamp set, which I have this weird habit for buying only half the bundle, because I think like maybe I can maximize it and it can be as cool as <laughs> the bundle with only buying half of it. This is one time where I'm kind of regretting that a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then I'll just do a little bit of dark to add to this. I don't know, that looks pretty weird, I think. But on the other hand, my experience with Stampin' Blends is that they look cool after you let it dry. So maybe I just fill it in a little bit more. Up there into the points. And that might just be the end of it. What do you think? Does this make you want to buy this stamp set or to never buy it? <laughs> Be honest now. Okay. All right. A few hearts coming in. So you must like it. Emma says, yes, the black makes all the flowers pop. That's good. Um, this does not look like a 15 minute card. Thank you, Betty. Um, let's see. Put a, well, this one, I might not even want a dimensional on that. Okay, so now I'm going to cover over some of the flowers, but that's all right, because that looks kind of cool. It's all weathered and roughed up. I don't know, maybe it needs to be more clean, because that's the style of the card. Anyway, I wonder if that heart should go in the middle of the flower. Maybe I like that. No, I like the circle flower, so maybe this should be just somewhere else. Okay, last thing I want to add to it, I brought a couple of ink, uh, ribbons, and I think I'm just going to have to go with this black and white. Although I did bring over this that but let's just do black and white and I'll just make a really nice bow and stick that on somewhere and that will be our card for this week wow this has been one of my longer videos I really got lost in the creating tonight <laughs> so much fun okay um let's see if you watched the great American stamp show last week we announced that the gas girls <laughs> that's for calling ourselves, you know, Great American Stampin' Show. Really unfortunate name. We should have thought about that first. Anyway, we're going to do some tutorials for Christmas cards, and that starts next week. So all you have to do to get those 12 tutorials, 12 weeks of tutorials, is to sign up for um, my mailing list. And so I don't know where to put that. It just looks weird wherever I put it. Um, maybe it just needs to be a knot. And so I have a link to that, my mailing list here in the group. It's in the featured post, but I can also add it to this video. So if you go and sign up, then we'll start mailing those out. And you'll have 12 weeks, well, 12 different Christmas card ideas to um, get you thinking about what you want to do for your Christmas cards this year. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're just, we're working together on that. So each of the four of us will make one of the, or four, three of the cards. How about that? That kind of looks like the flower has a bow on its head. Perfect. Maybe it can go here. Yeah, I kind of like it right there. Let's do it there. All right. As usual, I'll take a little photo of this and add it to the post. Thanks for going on this journey for me, this fun adventure. I think I might need to add some dots to that one, too, to dress that up a little bit. But this is it. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back next week. And between now and then, if you have questions or comments, I love to read them. Um, and I guess that's it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.